Hi, today's lesson is on render passes. So, what are render passes? Render pass is a function to render layers of raw images. Raw images such as pure color, pure shadows, or pure effects such as occlusion. These visuals are rendered separately so that the artist can transfer these images to a compositing software such as After Effects or Photoshop to put them together during post-production. The idea for render passes is to allow greater control and flexibility when it comes to creating visuals. It also helps to cut down the rendering time in 3D softwares. So the common render passes are color, shadow, specular, occlusion, and luminance step. So let's go ahead and fire up Maya to take a look at how we can create render passes. So in Maya, you can see two objects in my scene. One is the spear, the plane, and let me zoom it out and you can see my directional light. This directional light have um, ray trace shadows enabled so we will be able to get some shadows just um, looking at it all right so the next thing is how do we create render render rate layers for our production work so let's take a quick look on your bottom right corner, you'll see display render animation tab. So we are going into the render tab. The first layer that we are going to create is the color layer. So when we are creating color layers, we do not need any light at all. So to illustrate that, we will select the two objects, the spear and the plane. Go over to my layers and create layer from selected. Double click on layer one and I'm gonna rename it to color. Okay, so now we can right click color layer and click on attributes. Now this will give us an idea on what we have for render pass. Right now it's on beauty. Beauty is the combination of all your colors, shadows and specular including um, other effects. So we are going to check on color and make sure that beauty is unchecked okay so let's see what render is gonna do for us so in our render view we are not gonna see any shadows we're gonna see some subtle default shadowings on the objects and this is not exactly what we want because we also have a specular highlights here and when we are talking about getting raw images, we need this to be in full color, without specular, without shadows. Now, some studios do allow um, some form of shadows on the objects, but in this case, uh, we would rather have a pure image. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how we can achieve that. You can open up your hypershade, which is located in window, rendering editors, hypershade. All right. So we are going to use a new shader called surface shader. Now, surface shader is a shader that does not affect by light or shadows. We use surface shaders most commonly to produce um, perhaps to 
get shadow maps or to get uh, to generate uh, um, light maps for examples because shadow uh, so, sorry surface shader to isn't affected by light or many of the other um, effects in Maya so we will use surface shader double click on it uh, set an out color and locate your texture okay and once you're done um, select the object and I'm gonna use my surface shader and uh, assign my texture texture to it now hit render this is a pure color that I mentioned earlier this is what we really want that um, shadows or specular isn't affecting our object or in our render so the next thing that we are going to do um, click on master layer and we can see things from here now you're gonna see a couple of stuff that is crucial when it comes to um, making sure that our render works first of all if you look at this uh, the first icon here this is to allow the layer to be rendered during batch render so this is important to take note the third one is simply render settings so these are the two, two that we have to use um, most commonly All right. so the next thing that we are going to create is the shadows so shadows requires light to be present so we will select all the objects the directional light and sphere and plane and I will create another layer from selected and in this layer um, we'll rename it to shadows okay so right now if you right click on shadow layer and go to its attributes okay so we have mentioned before what's going on with render pass options we can choose shadows and uncheck beauty or we can click on presets and look for shadow immediately shadow will be checked and some of the um, additional uh, functions may be activated at times so we're just gonna leave it as that we're gonna hit render and take a look at what happened so in our render view you're not gonna see anything full black so we need to display um, our alpha channel instead so in our alpha channel we're gonna see shadows and we're gonna see some artifacts so this artifacts is on the spear itself and since we are talking about shadows um, we are not going to talk about self shadowing because that can be achieved through occlusion as well as light so what matters most right now is our shadows on the ground so s looking at this what we can do to fix this is by creating another surface shader a black surface shader okay I've created a surface shader all right and apply it on my objects okay. so if I were to render it again again do bear in mind this is my I'm displaying my alpha channel instead of my color image so as you can tell even with a uh, surface shader it will turn whatever that cannot be seen as transparent so that is uh, another unique point for surface shader so right now I have my shadows right I will click on my master layer again I will select uh, my objects and my 
background, my plane. All right. Select layers, create layer from selected, and this time round, I will include occlusion. So in the occlusion layer, um, right click, go to attributes. Let's head over to presets and click on occlusion. All right. So close it, and let's render it. Okay, so this is what we are going to get. So basically we have created three layers, um, the color, shadow, and occlusion. We can definitely add additional layers to such things as specular, uh, luminance step, and including even um, other effects that you might want to achieve through shaders. Because as you can tell, my muscle layer, it has all the textures on it. And clicking through my different render layers, you can tell that um, different shaders has been applied to it so it does not affect you in any way so we are gonna look at um, some additional stuff um, things like override for instance so what can we do with uh, overrides so um, click on color select the color layer and click on this uh, render settings alright now in your render settings um, we can select or input different qualities of your or changes to your attributes so one of the nice thing is that if I head over to common okay, and I change this to let's say 720 HD right and I'm going to close this select my shadow click on render settings it's going to change to HD 722 okay but while we are um, talking about uh, or even looking at this render settings you will notice there is an orange color word um, indicated here now this simply means that uh, it's an override for that render layer so what does that mean? right now you're looking at Maya software is using Maya software to render this image. So let's take a quick look at what about occlusion. So I select my occlusion layer, go to render settings, and immediately you're going to see that uh, this also has an orange indicating that it's using mental ray. So you can tell immediately that you can do changes, certain changes to your bit, your shaders or your render settings or even some of the attributes in your objects. So how do we enable overrides for um, be it our render settings or for our shaders or even our objects? So let's take a quick look. Okay. So let's say file name prefix. Um, this is one common thing that we all need to input for our color, shadow, occlusion or any other files that we are generating. So this is going to be our occlusion. In file name prefix you can right click okay, and create layer override. So once we click on that it's going to give us uh, an orange color indication that uh, whatever names that we put in here is not going to be reflected in the rest of my layers 
so I'm gonna call this uh, scene occlusion All right and let me switch this format to uh, JPEG so that we can see it quicker All right. so scene occlusion and close it I'm gonna look for my shadows um, right click create layer override scene shadow Oops. Okay. click on my color make sure to always uh, create a layer override before you um, do any kind of changes to it alright so now I have um, three render layers I can go ahead and go to my change this to my rendering menu click on render uh, look for batch render if you need to go to its options to change to one processor or use all available processor, it's up to you. All right, so batch render and close. So we are just gonna wait a little while for this to finish. Occlusion is just gonna take a longer time to render. So be patient. I am going to pause for a while till the, the rendering is done. Okay, so the rendering is completed and let's take a quick look in our folder. So as you can see in my folder, three Photos has been created for me. One is a color, occlusion, and shadow. So let's go into color. So there we go. I have my color and occlusion. Right. And shadow. Okay, so this uh this is to al show you how you can create your render passes and your layers i hope these lessons will um, help you in creating the necessary visuals that you need to for your composition thank you this ends our lessons bye